Salonist Software Tutorial and Review Best Salon Software 2024 Good day folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use Salonist. It is an amazing piece of software. It's got absolutely everything that you need to manage your salon. So, let's get straight in. On the left hand side you have your toolbar and you can see here that you've got everything in its own little space so what you see here is the home page and here is basically your dashboard you can see a glimpse of everything that is happening within your salon so you can see all of your sales appointments visits and your lifetime clients as you go down over here you can see that there is a quick sales and appointments tab so you can manage all of your appointments from right over here, as well as your quick sales. Quick sales may be such things as walk-ins or last minute bookings that you just quickly want to generate a booking ticket for, and it'll appear right over here under your quick sales. So on the left hand side, we have the quick sale button over here. And once you go in there, you will have a page that looks like this. So you can see at the top, you can create an invoice. Now, what you want to start doing is on this block over here, you want to start typing a name. And if that name is in your contact list, then it will start coming up. But if it's not, then you will see that you can create a new contact. So you can see here that Vincent is not within my contact list. We can just tap on add client so we can see that there is a name as well as a contact number that is needed and what we're going to then do is you can optionally enter an email address a physical address a date of arrival or appointment and then a date of birth a time zone and then a reward you can then tap on save and you can see that this is your client card and when you go down you will see now you have the option to add services add products add membership package as well as a gift card so if you tapping on add service you can see over here you can now select the service and you can manage this as well in another section of the app you can now select the staff member that is going to be working on this client you can also select the time that this person will be arriving and then you can adjust the price as well as the quantity. You can add a discount either in a dollar or a currency value or a percentage value and uh, let's make that 10%. And that's great. You can see that it is applied immediately and that is now the total. You can now go ahead and you can add a product. You can select your product such as this massage cream. You can again select a staff member, a price, quantity, discount, and then you can see your total. Once you are complete with that, you can then see that there is a grand total on the bottom right hand side over here, including the due amount, the subtotal, and once you are happy with that, at the bottom of the screen, you can just tap on Generate Bill. If you are sure, you can go ahead and click Yes. Having a look now at the calendar on the left-hand side, if you go into that page, this is what it will look like. And you can see here that you can manage all of your bookings as well as which of your staff members are managing these clients or these bookings. And you can do so in a day, week, or month format and then you can also see a list of all of your bookings and you can see over here that all of the blanked out space is actually the time that has already passed so currently our next booking can be taken from 10 30 or 11 and if you would like to add now a booking you can go up to the top right hand side you can see that there is a new booking you can tap on that and once you tap on new booking this page will come up you can enter the client name 
You can then also select the services over here, the staff members, the time, price, quantity, and then you can enter a discount in there. If you want to add a service or a package, you can do so right over here. Then you can also select the reward system and all the other details over here. And then you can just tap on save and you will have a new booking or a new appointment if you are tapping on week over here in the top right hand side you can see that the view changes slightly and you can now on the left hand side see the time and up at the top you can see the date so you can now manage all of your bookings like so once you hover your cursor over a booking you can see all of the details of that booking and once you tap on that you can now manage that booking you can now give it a status such as confirmed arrived start completed cancelled not came not confirmed you can also reschedule that booking and then you can add a payment so with all of these options over here you can really start to define who these bookings are for and what sort of status they are in at this point you can now also have it printed as a job card and that is a great way to actually manage all of your bookings all on one page and you can have multiple staff members as well over here you will see that you can manage all of your staff and you can access this with the staff management button over here and this page you can now add staff members you can see all of the staff schedules you can upload an attendance register as well as view inactive staff so over here is where you manage absolutely everything if you're going now over onto the right hand side per staff member you will see that there is an action button and you can now edit delete reset inactive or check in with this specific staff member and you can then change all the details right over here if you would need to do so the next button is the product button on the left hand side and once you get into there this is what the page looks like here you can manage everything about the physical product that you sell from your salon so you can see here that we have an actual product over here so this is the massage cream and the hair gel you can see the business price full price the sell price quantity that is in stock and then we have a quantity alert which means when your stock gets down to that number over there then you will get an alert to say that you are low on stock you also have an action button which you can tap on and open up and there is an edit and now you can edit everything about this product you can change the name you can add a barcode you can also add a little description there and then you can adjust the pricing you can select the actual brand you can select the product type as well as the vendor and then you can upload images of the product if you just tap on choose file and those images of course are on your device that you're using and then the stock control you can see here it says in stock quantity as well as the quantity alert level and the product usage you can change all of that right over here you just tap on save on the bottom right hand side of the screen and you can then manage all of those products like that if you'd like to add a new product there is an add product button you can just tap on that again the same thing you'll just have to enter all the details including product name barcode price description some images and then your stock control over here those details and then you can have all your products all in one place you also have a return order which is either an inventory return or a return order from a customer you can manage right over here and then you have a product order you can have an order placed from your suppliers and then you can edit everything that you see over here on this page and you can also assign products either in-house products or retail products to specific salespeople so that you can manage who is actually selling what going now to the clients tab and this is where you will manage all of your contacts all of your clients all the people that support your business as you can see over here it says client list and these currently are the only clients that I've got on the list if you would like to add in here you can either tap on the plus button again you want to enter the name contact details the date of appointment date of birth time zone physical address and the reward scheme over here for your client and then you can just go ahead and say save 
and your client will show up here. If you have an existing list and you'd like to import that list of clients onto this platform from another, all you have to do is tap on the action button over here on the right hand side and you can see here we've got client groups. We can create a client group. We can also download a sample file and then we have the import client. Once you tap on that, you can then choose the file and it will have to be in CSV format, which can be generated on Excel or Google Docs. Going now into the next tab is where you can manage all of your appointments. On this page, you can see you can create quick sales. You can then also see all of your appointments right over here. Your quick sales basically is the same as that very first tab that we used where we can actually just create a contact card and enter some products as well as services and generate an invoice. Over here, you can set up your profile for clients to book online. So if you tap on start now, you will be going through this process. So you'll have to upload a logo and a cover image. You can also upload some photographs over here of your products or experiences in your salon. And then you have the view. So you either have default contemporary or classic. And then you can add in some promotions, the title as well as a description over here. And then a thank you message. You also have the business description, cancellation terms. And then you can enter in all your social links right over here and edit your business hours on the right hand side so you can see you can just use the drop down menu and you can actually just change the times that you are open and closed and then when you're done with that you're going to go ahead and tap on save and right back at the top of the page you have the booking options over here now once the booking options is open you can see that you can change everything about the actual interface when somebody is trying to book online such as the settings for the online bookings the booking selection the booking staff options the bookings policies and then also the display price the online booking settings the initial deposit that is paid credit refunds on the booking cancellations and then also the online payments which we will get into a little bit later and you can enable that from your integrations Looking at the next page here is the reports and you can access that just by tapping on reports from the toolbar on the left hand side. Here you can see everything that is happening within your business, all of your analytics, all of the booking times. Uh, you can see your sales, your customers, your staff, appointments, inventory, everything gets managed right from this page over here. So I mentioned the integrations earlier on. You can access that by just tapping on the integration tab on the left hand side. You can see here now that you can integrate some payment methods such as Stripe, PayPal, Razorplay and so forth. Then there's also some email and SMS notification apps that you can integrate over here. There's quite a bit. And then you have an accounting management system, which is QuickBooks, and it is an amazing piece of software. You also have some booking integrations if you're not going to use that in-house booking system. And um, you have many to choose from. And then we have some analytics apps that you can integrate, such as Google Analytics and Facebook Pixels. And then... Once you have set up all these integrations, you can start managing all of these sections of your business a lot quicker and a lot easier. Going now into the sales tools, as you can see over here, which is just under integrations. This is what the page looks like. You can see that you can manage your referral system. You can also create an SMS campaign. You can manage all your coupons over here. You can also manage and create your gift cards email campaigns and your reward programs and reward systems right over here if you get into each and every one of these you can go ahead and you can define and create great systems for your customers to connect with you going now onto the expense page on the left hand side second from the bottom you can access your expense page and here you can create your expense transactions so you have an action button on the right hand side over here you can see categories sample files and then you can also import your expenses just the same way as you do with your contact you'd import a csv file and if you would like to create an expense slip over here you can just tap on the plus button on the right hand side you can now add an expense you can add a receipt number 
a payee uh, category, the amount, the mode, which is either cash card or check, and then a date, and you can add in a comment over there and then you can just tap on save if you would like to add another you can just go ahead and continue with the add more button on the right hand side then once you are done with that you will have a list of expenses so if you're buying in stock or if you are purchasing any other services whereas you have to pay money out this is where you'd manage all of that looking now at the very last item on the toolbar on the left hand side is the setup and this is basically where you will manage absolutely everything about your page your salon your website and all of your bookings this is where you will enter your business logo all of your business information you can set your passwords here your regional settings and really on the left hand side you can see here there's a long list of settings that you can set up so if you go into any one of these you can see once you open them up, you can change everything about those pages. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, don't forget to drop us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section. And we'll see you in another great video. Cheers for now, folks.